It's Daddy Da, Aaron. I'm talking to you today. I wanted to tell you that we're going to film all this yummy Tai Chi for you. Gee, I'm going to show you exactly how to defend yourself when some nutty nut tries to get you with the WLM27 Walensky Light Machine. I'm going to show you how to do it, Aaron. This is your good friend Nina Bendani talking to you. Like Jimmy Rabbit City and Penalty is our national fast I've been killing too, but I want to tell you about the world. And some people in the world, Adam, are not nice people. So I'm going to show you how to defend yourself. Here it comes. You ready? Turbo Roar! 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 Now we're going to do a Sonic Horn, Adam. It's going to be very, very loud, but I think you're going to enjoy it. Okay, Super Adam, Daddy Dog again. I love you, my little friend. I had to show you all these things because just recently, as you know, we had another Nutty Nut go on a rampage at the school in Illinois. We had Virginia Tech, which all went on a rampage, and these kids were not prepared to defend themselves. They had no idea what was coming at them. A Glock, uh, machine guns, guns going off at them, bang, 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 they all got themselves killed again and wounded. You're going to have to learn to defend yourself. You have some very high quality genetic based abilities. You have a super screen that you can go off the chart with. So does your sister. They cannot accurately record or reproduce our voices. They are just too high. We have the highest voices in the world. We're right up there with Bird in the wild kingdom of God. So Her Holiness the Sun is right here today. And she's pretty and she's hit my eyes and I'm buzzing inside. Lots and lots of bioelectricity, Adam. That is the Western terminology for it. The Chinese call it qi, qi. That is how they say it, Adam. It means energy work, qi gong. I'm going to show you the basic exercises you need and exactly what you would do to be a snow leopard, to snow leopard that enemy or multiple aggressors if they come at you, some nutty nuts that want to kill you. All these children need to learn these things now. They cannot depend upon some old man or some other teacher or somebody else to help them. If somebody has a gun and they're coming at you, and multiple people have guns and they're coming at you, with weapon systems and everything, you're going to have to learn how to defend yourself. So this is what this documentary is for today. I'm going to teach you how to do these things. Let's do some of the Tai Chi exercises that you need to know that work for you. Here we go. Now what I'm doing, Adam, is I'm doing very slow, nice movements, and I'm charging up my systems. I can feel that weightlessness effect, Adam. It's just like I've taken down gravity. I'm doing power push, all these type of movements here, sun movements, very ancient movements. But what I'm doing right now is I'm taking down gravity. I'm getting charged up so I can hit somebody with that sonic laser. So I can come right off the charts and get right in front of them and hit them. But you're saying, all you have is the laser and he's got a gun. That's enough. But I'm also ramping up my body. Just like I'm taking a rubber band and winding it and winding it and winding it. And then I'm going to release all that energy, that chi energy, that bioelectricity. I'm culminating it, moving it, saturating it right up here. Then I'm going to release it and it's called jing. That's the release of the energy. Okay, you ready, Adam? Here you go. Here comes Cho or some nutty nut on a rampage, and he's going to kill you and your sister and everything else and all the children. Hello. Come here. Okay. Here we go, Adam. 
here we go. I've got a whole ton of bioelectricity, a whole bunch of chi energy. It's culminated now. I'm ready to go. At this range right now, I could knock somebody's eardrums out. I could take them out. It would be like they had a huge migraine headache and somebody just took a, a really sharp object and rammed it in their eardrums and boom, they're gone. It's like their mind is exploding at them. Here we go. There you go, Adam. Now, I would use a sonic horn, too. It's a different frequency. See, I did all that for you. Now, I'm going to back up a little bit. And I'm going to show you some high-intensity chi. Somebody comes at you, what you should do. You want to get as close to him as you can to knock him out. That gun could jam. He could run out of ammunition. But if you take him out with the sound, and you get close to him in it. That's all you need to do, my friend. That will keep you alive. Once again, I'm ramping back up. I'm feeling that chi energy. I have my son friend here today, Orael Divine. He is filming all this for me. Are you getting the legs? Yeah. He is getting everything now. Let's do the basic energy work again. Just like that. Real nice movement. Sun movements. Very ancient. Ra was the ancient Egyptian sun god, Adam. Power push, it's nice, it's easy. There we go. Cut. Five, four, three, two, one, action. Yes, Super Adam. Orael, the sun man, sun kingdom of God, sun club, is filming you right now. It's filming me, actually. And I'm right out there in the sun and looking into it and feeling all that vibration and bioelectrical energy. But he's shooting it from a different angle, somebody that moves really slow and nice for you. Then I'll do some turbo roars, some things you like to see. I know you like that Frumble story, so I'm going to tell it to you. He took the pickle submarine and he went to the old folks cruise ship and while they were eating he ran out there with brownie fartness gas and attacked them and then the pigs inky binky boinky and bimby were on the cruise ship and they were super squealing at him and repelling him and then sir chomp a lot chomp 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 a lot at him a super paleolithic great white shock in the ocean ate them at him because they were polluting my ocean and i decided to get them at him and that's what happened to Frumbles, because I ate him. Now I could make that a nice children's story, Adam, and tell you that Frumbles got away after he stole the food and everything, because he didn't want to share and care and work with all the other people. But that's not how it happens in reality, in the real world. Let's do some super screams for you. some real great yumminess. So, when you attack your neighbor, Adam, you really attack yourself. What that old wise man is trying to tell you is, if you go out there and make preemptive strikes and you take out people, sooner or later they're going to come back and get you, my little friend. They're thinking about it. You're not the only one with nuclear weapons in the world. Let's speed it up a little bit for you, big boy. Cut!